Hey friends! Alright, I wanted to read you a story for today. So for our story time, I picked a book that I found at the library. That was a really fun one. The title of this book, remember the title is the name of the book. And it says, Duck on a Bike. Now, the author Remember what the author is? Who wrote the story? That is David Shannon. And this one doesn't say an illustrator. So I'm thinking maybe David Shannon was the author and wrote the words and was the illustrator too and made these great pictures. Okay, let's find out what happens to duck on a bike. One day, down on the farm, you know what, I'm going to turn just a little because the sun keeps hitting my book. Man, and I want you guys to be able to see my book. Let me close that window. Okay. I know it was kind of hard to see those pictures. Now we're ready. All right, so there's that duck on his bike. One day, down on the farm, Duck got a wild idea. I bet I could ride a bike, he thought. Hmm. He watched over to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on, and then you know what? He started to go slowly at first as he wobbled and then a little faster. But you know what? Even though he was kind of wobbly as he went, he was starting to have some fun. Think about how much fun you have when you ride your bike. Even if sometimes you might start to fall a little and you wobble, it is still fun. Well, Duck, he rode past Cow. He waved as he went. Hello, Cow, said Duck. You know what Cow said? Moo. Mm. But what she thought was a duck? On a bike? That is the silliest thing I have ever seen. Hmm. That would be pretty silly. Well, next, Duck rode by Sheep. Hello, Sheep, said Duck. You know what Sheep says? Bah. But what she thought was, he is going to hurt himself if he's not careful. Hmm, that's a good point. Maybe. He should be wearing a helmet. Duck was riding better now. He's been practicing a little. And he rode past a dog. Hello, dog, says Duck. Woof, says dog. But what he thought was, that is a mighty neat trick. So dog liked what he saw. Looks like he's going to run along right beside for a little while. Well, Duck kept going. And he rode right past Cat. Hello, Cat, he called. And what do you think Cat said? Meow. What she thought was, I wouldn't waste my time. Hmm. So Cat doesn't think it's such a great trick. She wouldn't waste her time riding a bike at all. I think she's missing out on some fun. Then Duck pedaled a little faster. Right past horse. Hello, horse, says Duck. Can you make a horse noise with me? What would a horse say? Ready? Nay, said horse. But what he thought was, you're still not as fast as me, Duck. Hmm. That's true. A horse could ride a lot faster than a bike can, right? All right, Duck rang the bell on the bike. There's a little bell. Ding, ding. And he rode toward Chicken. Hello, Chicken, called Duck. Cluck, cluck, says Chicken. But what she thought was, watch where you are going. Yeah, look how close he got to hitting Duck. That would 
or sorry, to hidden chicken. That would not have been good. That would have really hurt his friend. He's got to be a little careful. Then he rode past Goat. Hello, Goat, says Duck. Do you know what sound a goat makes? It's a little different. It's kind of like a sheep who says, bah, but a goat says, ma. So the goat said, ma, but what he thought was, I'd like to eat that bike. Look here. That goat is eating all kinds of trash. He eats all kinds of things that would really hurt our teeth and aren't good for us. But he looked at that bike and thought, mmm, that looks like lunch. Duck stood on the seat and rode past Pig and Pig. Look at that. Standing on one foot on a bike. I don't know about that. Hello, Pig, said Duck. Oink, said the pigs. But you know what they thought? Duck is such a show-off. Do you think he's showing off? What does showing off mean? Hmm, look here. I think showing off is showing all the tricks you can do just so people will notice you. He's doing tricks so that pigs will look at him. So, hmm, do you think he's showing off? Then Duck rode with no hands right past Mouse. Hello, Mouse, said Duck. Squeak, says Mouse. But what he thought was, I wish I could ride a bike just like Duck. Mm. He's a little small. Do you think he'd be able to ride a bike? I don't think he could reach the pedals and the handlebars at the same time. Poor Mouse is not big enough to ride a bike. But he wishes he were. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on bikes. They were in such a hurry, they didn't see Duck. Uh-oh. They parked their bikes by the house and went inside. Shows all of our animal friends there. They all gathered around. Now, all the animals had bikes. <gasps> Look at the, all the kids left their bikes and went in the house. And all the farm animals got on bikes. This is fun, they said. Good idea, Duck. Oh, I see a horse. The horse looks a little too big to be riding a bike. A uh, cow. There's duck and chicken. Oh, the pigs are trying to ride a bike together. Hmm, I see goat and dog. You know what? Even Cat is on one, and she said that she thought she wouldn't like riding a bike. I guess she gave it a try. <gasps> Do you see Mouse? Remember, Mouse was too little to ride a bike all by herself. Look right in front of Duck. Mouse is riding on the handlebars. That's a good idea, so she can still ride. Then they put the bikes back by the house, and no one knew that on that afternoon there had been a cow, a sheep, a dog, a cat, a horse, a chicken, a goat, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a bike. The and that was a silly but very fun book. Make sure you keep reading some books at home. Books are so great for your brain. All right. Let me know if you find any really good books you want to share with me.